The Nvidia Shield is like no other Android device. Thanks to Nvidia's most advanced mobile processor to date, the Tegra X1, you'll be able to play premium single and multiplayer Android games with unparalleled fidelity, not to mention stream 4K video at 60 frames a second. There's a huge and ever-increasing library of classics and new titles to play on the Shield, and to give you a little flavour of what's available, here are six absolute belters for your gaming pleasure. Firstly, please step into the test chambers of Aperture Science. We promise there'll be cake. Valve's spatial puzzling masterpiece sees you take control of Chell, who must navigate various test chambers under the guidance and or control of the genetic lifeform and disk operating system, or GLaDOS for short. Well done. Remember, the Aperture Science Bring Your Daughter to Work Day is the perfect time to have her tested. Armed only with a portal gun and your own infinitely flexible grey matter, you must bend space, momentum and companion cubes to your will, in a bid for cake, and perhaps even freedom. Talking of freedom, you should take this chance to unleash your inner biggles, bellow, chocks away chaps, and take to the skies in free-to-play MMO combat sim, War Thunder. Playable on the Android platform for the first time, thanks to the clout offered by the Maxwell GPU architecture, the game is set largely during the Second World War, allowing you to pilot more than 600 historically accurate vehicles in huge multiplayer combat arenas. Ground Warfare will be coming to the platform soon, but in the meantime you can still play in Air Arcade mode, with simpler plane physics and ammo reloading on the fly, or fight in realistic air battles, where damage modelling and flight control are much less forgiving, and you'll have to land at your airfield to reload. Just make sure you keep Ginger out of the pub between missions. On next to one of the most important and influential franchises in the history of video games. The Doom 3 BFG edition available on Shield includes a full version of the game that ushered the entire first-person shooter genre onto the popular stage, Doom. Not only that, but you can keep on tickling your nostalgia glands with Doom 2 before moving on to the more modern meat of Doom 3 itself. Set in a research facility on Mars, you must don your space marine garb and try to mop up the monstrous mess caused by a bunch of scientists who accidentally opened a gateway to hell whilst researching teleportation technology. Whoops, perhaps there'll be cake here too. If you like your first-person shooters with less of the terror and more of the lols, then you'd better get downloading Borderlands, the pre-sequel. People think robots can't feel pain, but we actually feel it in slow motion with great intensity. This robot died in horrific action! Set between the events of Borderlands 1 and 2, you can choose to play as one of four characters, each with their own unique class abilities, in a bid to help Handsome Jack regain control of the Helios space station from the Lost Legion. As with previous installments of the franchise, the generous loot system allows you to craft a huge spectrum of weaponry, while you also have to manage both low gravity environments and a distinct lack of oxygen. Joking! <coughs> Need air! Back on planet Earth, and set in the very near future, is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. This brutally fast-paced hack-and-slash action game takes place four years after the earth-shattering events of Metal Gear Solid 4. Former child soldier, now katana-toting cyborg Raiden, must slice and dice his way through the ranks of Private Warmonger's Desperado Enforcement LLC, and try to uncover the truth behind the company's murky motives. Unlike other titles in the Metal Gear series, Revengeance focuses not primarily on stealth, but instead on getting up close and personal with your enemies and their innards, exemplified by the free-slicing blade mode, which allows you to apply your katana with all the precision of a psychotic brain surgeon. Finally, Nvidia Shield also has the power to let you enjoy one of the most critically acclaimed game series ever published. Half-Life 2 Episode 2 is the most recent, but hopefully not the final installment, in Valve's epic alternate reality, and picks up immediately where Episode 1 left off. You take the gravity gun. You control Gordon Freeman, and along with fellow freedom fighter Alex Vance, you must make your way to the White Forest Lambda Resistance Base, using the gravity gun and assorted other weaponry to keep the enemy at bay, and solve puzzles along the way. Get here as quickly as you can. Let us know which of these masterpieces you've most enjoyed playing in the comments, and to learn more about S.H.I.E.L.D., go to shield.nvidia.com.